welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Deck Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comment section below. Or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I will be showing you guys how to fix a virtual box error called the virtual machine has terminated unexpectedly unexpectedly during startup with exit code one bracket zero x one bracket and there's obviously a few other codes but i'm not going to worry about that so i found a way to fix this and i want to share this with you guys so i'm going to x this this is actually not my photo i just took a photo of this I just took a picture of this, sorry. Uh, when I got my error, I forgot to take a picture. So let's get started. So first we're gonna wanna go to the terminal and I have mine on my dock, but for those of you who don't know how to find the terminal, I'll show you guys right now. So we're gonna wanna go to applications and it, which is on the side here, applications, and we're gonna to wanna to find utilities. Found medical order, so I found it, utilities, and we're gonna to wanna to hit the little arrow there, and from here, we'll drop down menu, we'll expand, and we're gonna find terminal. Terminal's right here, we're gonna double click, and in this section, we're going to want to write these commands one by one. So sudo su, sudo su, and then we'll write csr util clear. Make sure there's a space there. And after that's done, we'll hit reboot will sorry type in reboot and that'll shut down your system and it'll reboot after that is done we are going to want to go to your system preferences so I'll fix that and how you get to the system preferences is you go to the apple logo I should mention that I'm on a Mac and I'm using Big Sur as my operating system, which is the newest one. So back to the system preferences, we're going to left click on the Apple and then it's the second one in the menu. And from here, we're going to left click on security and privacy. And from here, we're going to click the little lock and we're going to unlock it in case we need to make some changes. So we'll put this to the side for now. We can actually also change this. You will change this, but I won't for demonstration purposes, just so then you can see where the errors come up. So we'll leave this to the side, make sure that you can see it because if a download is blocked, you're gonna wanna accept it of course or open it and then accept it. So this is where it's gonna show. So let's go and do that. But first we will have to uninstall VirtualBox. And how we do that is we're going to go to the VirtualBox website, virtualbox.org. This will be in the description below. So I'm just gonna download this. Mine is a Mac. 
So OS, and I'll just put it on the desktop, make it easier for me. And here you will find both the uninstall and install. Or virtual box. Notice that it's a DMG file, and we're going to want to double click. Can all of them because it's not from the Apple Store. So we're going to hit OK. And here you can see already our first error was it blocked for use because it's not an identified developer. So we're going to hit open anyway. And we'll get this error, I mean, this warning as well. And we're going to open it. It'll start verifying. And once it's finished, it'll open by itself. And from here, this is the installing. And then here is the VirtualBox uninstall tool. So we're going to want to double click. And another one will open. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, open. And this will show up. And from here, we're going to want to type yes, yes again, our password, give it a second, and process is complete. Perfect. So after that's done, we're going to want to reinstall again. And how we do that is we will we can drag or double click. I'm just going to drag. I already have it there, so I'm just going to click replace. Perfect. From here, you can double click on the applications like I did. And from here, we're going to want to find VirtualBox PKG. And here, same thing. Download it from the App Store. And same error was blocked so we're going to open it anyways and then hit open again and from here this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed allow okay hit continue and then install our password again install the video i mean install the video install the virtual box And a reboot is required on Mac OS, a big sur onward in order for to install the kernel extension. Okay. So virtual boxes downloaded again on our machine. And it should let you open the machine just like that.
you guys have any other questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment or email me. Whatever works. I do just want to tell you that make sure you keep an eye on this section where it says it might be blocked. Uh, I did have it. So it was App Store and identified developers and it would keep on giving me er like not errors, but it kept saying that it was blocked. So I had to keep on approving it, approving it, approving it until it went through and then uninstalling VirtualBox and then reinstalling and then it worked perfectly fine. Also, don't forget to install the, let's shut this down. From VirtualBox, don't forget to install the extension pack as well. Thanks for watching. I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.